Hey there, Ryan here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a simple employee schedule in Google Sheets. With this spreadsheet, you can enter in all of your employees and then quickly assign shifts, off days, and any sick leave or vacation like so. I'll also show you how to easily expand the template to handle any number of employees or days. Okie dokie, that being said, let's get to it. Starting with a blank spreadsheet, begin by selecting columns L through Z. Then right click on the column headers and delete the columns. Next, click here in this box, which is called the name box. Type in 17 colon 1000 and press enter. This will select rows 17 through 1000 and you can delete them by right clicking on the row headers and delete. After that, select rows 1 through 16, right click, resize rows, set the size to 40, and click OK. Then click here and change the horizontal alignment to center, and change the vertical alignment to middle. Next, select column A, right click, resize column, set the size to 50, Click OK. Select column B, right click, resize column, set the size to 150, and click OK. At this point, go ahead and turn off the grid lines. Go to View, Show, Uncheck Grid Lines. Then select C2 through J13. Click the Borders button here. Change the color to gray and apply the outside border like so. Now select C2 through J3. Apply outside borders. Select B3. Apply outside borders. Select B4 through B13. And apply outside borders. Next, select C4 through J13. Click the borders button again. Change the color to this much lighter gray, and apply inside borders by clicking here. Then select B4 through B13, and apply the light gray inside borders here as well. Okie dokie, it's starting to come together. Next, let's add some formatting. Start by selecting cell B3, bold the font, and add a light blue fill color like so. Then select C2 through J2, change the font color to blue, and add a light gray fill color. Then select C3 through J3, bold the font, add a slightly darker gray fill color like so, and that should do it for the formatting. The next step is to add some employee names. So first select cell B3 and type in employee. Then below, type in your employee names or just a few sample names for now. Then, if you'd like, you can select column B and change the horizontal alignment to left to make the names a little easier to read. Awesome. Now let's set up the dates on top. Select C2 through J2 and go to data, data validation. Click on Add Rule, and under Criteria, select Is Valid Date. Then click on Done. This will enable you to double-click on cell C2 and get a pop-up calendar, making it super easy to select the start date for your schedule. And so for now, go ahead and just pick a date. You can always change it later. Then select cell D2 and enter the formula, equals C2 plus one. You can then use the fill handle to copy the formula all the way over to cell J13. Now you will notice that this does get rid of the right border, but don't worry, we will fix this in just a little bit. For now, let's go ahead and change the formatting for the dates. Select C2 through J2, click the More Formats button here, and select Custom Date and Time. Clear the contents in this box. 
Then click the down arrow, select month, change this to month abbreviation, add a space, click the down arrow, select day, change this to day with leading zero, and finally click apply. Awesome. Now let's add in a formula that will calculate the day of the week below. Select cell C3 and enter the following. Equals upper function text function C2 next argument quote D D D quote close parentheses close parentheses and press enter. Now what's happening is the text function looks at the date in cell C2, and it gives you back the three letter abbreviation of the weekday. Then the upper function makes all of the letters uppercase. How cool is that? Anyway, once you have the formula working, use the fill handle to copy the formula over to cell J3. Then to fix the borders, select C2 through J3, Click the borders button here, remove all borders, then change the color to gray, and apply outside borders. Nice. Now we just need to add in the shift assignment functionality in the middle. But before we get to that, I want to mention that although this template is simple and easy to use, it does have its limitations. Luckily, it isn't the only solution out there. Today's video is sponsored by Connect Team, which is a beautifully designed app for managing your entire deskless team in one place. In fact, Connect Team is not only powerful, but it's super accessible and an incredible solution for managing your employee schedules all in one place. As an admin, you can quickly and easily build schedules, assign shifts to employees, and so much more. You can add new shifts or move them around with just a few simple actions like this. And you can even replicate your previous week's schedule or auto schedule every shift with just a click of a button. Talk about convenience. And oh yeah, did I mention that Connect Team is optimized for mobile? Your whole team can check their shifts, schedules, and messages all from their phone. And that includes approving, declining, or even swapping shifts. Just open, Look, click, and done. Gosh, that's so cool. Anyway, you should really go and check out Connect Team. You'll even find that it's packed with other awesome features too. And the best part, it's absolutely free for companies with up to 10 users. Really, go check it out. I left a link in the description to make it easy to find, and you'll be glad that you looked into it. That being said, let's get back to our build. Our goal now is to add in different shift options to our schedule. So to do that, select the range C4 through J13 and go to Data, Data Validation. Click on Add Rule, and under Criteria, you want Drop Down. Then below, you can enter the different options that you want to choose for your employees. For this example, I'm just going to enter a few options like so. And once you've entered in your different shift options, you can customize their colors as well. Just click the gray circle next to the option that you want to customize, select the color that you want to apply, and then you can customize as few or as many options as you want. Then once you're done, click on advanced options below and select plain text. I personally like to choose this display style for a cleaner look and feel, but really it's up to you. Either way, when you're finished, click on done. And you can close the data validation panel by clicking here. And of course, you can now start typing in or clicking to assign shifts to all of your different employees like so. Okie dokie. Before you go, I want to quickly show you how to expand the table for more employees or for more dates. To add room for more dates, select a number of columns in the middle of the table like so. Then right click and insert new columns to the right. After that, select the two date cells right before the gap like this, and use the fill handle to copy the formulas over to the next cell containing a date. 
And now to add more employees, select a number of rows in the middle of the table like this, right click and insert rows below. And now you have space for more employees. And that is all there is to it. All right, that's it for this one. So thank you so much for sticking around and give this video a like if you learned something new or even consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video.